Alrighty folks, thanks for checking out the lesson here. It's a steam-powered aerial plane in the key of G. A classic John Hartford tune, probably my favorite here. This is certainly like an anthem to this style of music, or maybe an anthem to your life. Uh, I'm not sure. But I've created two arrangements. They sit in the intermediate to advanced category. There's lots of notes. We're going to be playing the melody here. But we're also going to get very expressive with it and really explore the G major pentatonic. We're going to use that all over the place because it just fits here in this tune. But we are just going to, again, do some exploring across the fretboard, get expressive with the melody, have some fun. That's the goal. And hopefully you can start to comprise and compose your own solo. As always, if you want to access the full-length lesson, download the tablature, the multi-speed backing tracks, and access sound slice, click the link in the description below. Let's dive in. All right, so let's put those first few measures up on the screen there. And, uh, yeah, got a lot of measures to work through here. But um, here's what they sound like. I'll play them and then break them on down. So, one, two, three, four, one... minor of course there we're gonna be strumming a little bit on the a minor to fill in the gaps but and we're gonna be doing a lot of major pentatonic work as well um, a lot of the solos both of them are going to be derived from um, the G major pentatonic scale and here we're kind of in the open position so that first bar there, there's a, there's a rest, and then there's a pickup on beat two, and it um, starts on the open G string, so it's two and three, and then two on the G, open B, first fret B. And then I'm going to go to the th third fret B, and this measure is, um, yeah, it's all on the same string there, so it's one, two, and three, and four, and. So there's a tie in the middle, that's what that little loop is. Um, it's not, you know, there's no pick direction below it, so it's not going to be played. We're going to have a lot of ties, um, as this is definitely intermediate to advanced arrangement, but, um, a lot of consecutive eighth notes, of course. Then going to the third measure, open E, third fret E, open, back to three on the B, open E, three on the B open B, open G. So kind of a, a lot of back and forth, right? Almost like a like a folding scale, if you will. We kind of go one way, you gotta go up, and then down one, and then up two, or whatever the case may be. Um, kind of has that sound or feel to it. And then measure four, we're gonna do zero two hammer on the G, and I wanna get into my A minor chord shape. Okay. G, and then two on the D. My finger's already there, so. And then I'm gonna strum, and two, and. And the strum might be a little awkward here just because we're kind of tying into the downbeat of the next measure. And four, and, and it's, I said the wrong words there, but. Uh, Again, there's a tie, syncopated, um, and two, and, and then it'll be zero, two, hammer on the D, and then open G. So if I play all four of those again in context, four, five, if you will, there, so one, two, three, four, one. kind of swinging the eighth notes a little bit um, since I'm playing so slow maybe a little bit more than I want to but uh. okay, that wasn't so swingy there I, I was playing a little bit closer to tempo and um, less of the swing if you can feel that so the next few measures here six through ten put them up on the screen Okay, I might have 
added an extra note in there. But um, yeah, measure six, um, we're still on that A minor, and a zero two hammer on the G. So I, I did play it open, and then I will play it again open here, you know, the, the measure prior I did. And then this measure, I will hammer, pick it and hammer two on the G, ties over for half a beat. So one and two and three. One and two and three. And then two zero pull. Okay. And then two four slide. Now depending on just kind of how I got my fingering going, I might slide up with my third finger here on that G string since it's already kind of in place. Or I might use my second finger, which would be more common, I guess. But either one will totally work. So here, measure seven. One and two. And then open B. Four, two, slide on the G. Back down. I'm going to shift up and shift down with that same finger. Then open G, two on the D. Next measure, open G. It's a quarter note, tie to an eighth note. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. It's on the D string there, going to the D string. Two, oh, sorry. One, two, and three. Then I strum on beat four. Ties over. Then I come with one up. Then zero, two on the G. And then here I'm picking back up into kind of the second half of this A part. The, second phrase or the uh, yeah phrase or sentence in this section and um, I started just a bit different I'm gonna go with the open B quarter note there first fret B and this time I'm gonna shift up with the first finger to the third fret all right so whoop. one two three I'm gonna just kind of roll my finger over catch the high E on the third fret one two three four the circles around there indicate a half note all right Whoop. One, two, three, four, one. And then I go on. Um, let me play those four again. Two, ready, go. A little quicker. Three, four. And then moving on to the next um, four measures, four or five measures here. One, two, three. Okay, so we got a big hold in the middle there, and you got to really got to count that out. Listen to the audio. Um, we can talk about maybe some variations, but yeah. So I was here, right? First finger on the third fret of the high E. It's tied over into the downbeat there, so you know, three, four, one, and two, and three, and five. Pull the three, five on the B. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, next measure, three, five, hammer. There, that hammer might be uh, not well printed, but. Then back to three, quarter note. And then five on the B. And right there, it's a half note tied to a dotted half note, which is a total of five counts. So I'm creating just a lot of space there. You could kind of like play eighth notes on that note if you wanted to. You know what I mean? You could you could keep the I want to keep the right hand moving no matter what, and I will. Four, one, two, three. But again, it's just a long hold, so you want to keep the pulse going in your body and in your right hand. One, two, three, and then it's three, five. Then the next measure, three, five, hammer on the high E. Two and three, and then five, three, pull. And the next measure, five, seven on the E. There's a tie in there, so one and two and and then seven, shift down to five, three, five on the B. So it's very similar to the melody we played earlier in measures um, 
6 and 7 is very similar here, and 14 and 15, just up an octave. Probably not exactly the same, but again, similar. Playing all those four again. Two, three, four, one. Two, three. Okay, then going on. Okay, so we're going for ending the A part here, going into the B part or verse and chorus, however you want to think about it. And, um, yeah, starts on the high E, th third fret, then three on the B, or five on the B, three on the G, B, four on the G, shift down to two, open G, two zero pull on the D. All major pentatonic scale work. Measure 17, I play the open G, and I just strum this measure out. One, Get to the chorus now over the A minor. Okay, two on the G, starts with a quarter note. And then two, four hammer on the G. Back to two, open G, two, zero pull on the D. The next measure is exactly the same. Um, you can, you know, this is kind of emulating the dobro part on the recording. And sometimes I like to, it's more work to slide up and down like that, but it does give it that um, dobro slide effect. It, it's tough to do up to speed, but um, sometimes I will, as opposed to, okay, both totally work, of course. And then measure 20, two four slide on the G, and there's a tie, so one and two, and then three on the B, four on the G, three on the B. So pretty syncopated right there. One and two and three. Oh, I'm sorry. One and two. So those four. Ready, go. So there's the first half of the first arrangement. And uh, if you want to access uh, the full length lesson, download all the tabs, notation, and the multi-speed backing tracks, click the link in the description below and uh, we'll move on when you're ready.